seen it on our show? Go to our website, getwild.com, for more info. Hi, I'm Penn Gillette of Penn and & Teller, and you are watching the Wild Wild Web, but I've been known to lie. In our web-wide search for comedy, we came across dozens of sites paying homage to the comedy magic team of Penn & Teller. We are Penn & Teller, and we have been doing magic together for over 23 years, and I want to tell you, we're so sick of it, we could spit. There are sites that teach you to perform magic, from card tricks to putting Penn & Teller in your own cyber movie. There's even a site dedicated to being run over by Penn's hot pink Bronco. Tracking them down wasn't easy. But we finally caught up with Penn Gillette, the larger and louder half of the duo, at his extremely wired home in the Las Vegas desert. I can turn on my jacuzzi from the phone, so it can be all warmed up when you come home. My house is essentially just like Bill Gates' house, except mine works. Everyone knows that Penn Gillette is a funny guy. His books are in the comedy section at the bookstore. But when we got to his house, all he wanted to do was talk about the web. I've been on, uh, on the net since, uh, since 85. I was on what it was still called uh, ARPANET. I like the web because um, I have a fascination with, uh, with alien subcultures. I live in Las Vegas, Nevada, which is the only place that you can be subsidized by bad math. Hi, I'm being interviewed, so I can't talk long. Hey, Gilbert. Okay, man. Bye-bye. That was perhaps the uh, funniest man alive today, Gilbert Gottfried, calling me to say he knows nothing about the World Wide Web. Let's watch that original routine again, but this time from the other side. Jokes in the web are part of teaching people that there's false information. The web uh, brings people together uh, and, uh, and then allows you to be able to get away very easily and very simply. You just kind of go, oops, I'm done here. And you... There we go, we're gone. Ladies and gentlemen, Penn and Teller proudly present the world's largest shuffle. I would have been lucky 30 years ago to be able to find two or three books within an hour on a given subject. Now I can download uh, thousands of pages instantly. So the the quest for information becomes unimportant, and the quest for truth becomes everything. Individuals have to learn that seeing it on a computer screen does not make it true, and that having information is not access to truth. It used to be that magic <clears throat> was in the forefront of technology, when magic was in the forefront of communicating, you know, when Houdini was DiCaprio. People would listen to everything he said. We don't use technology at all in our show. Oh, 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 fire! Fire! Run! Run! Save yourselves! Oh, oh, fire! Oh, oh, fire! Oh, oh, help us! Help us! Help us! Save Matthew! Oh, oh, fire! The worst accident possible when juggling torches. I slightly soiled my right hand with carbon. I also showed my uncompromising commitment to the First Amendment to the Constitution of the United States of America by being willing to yell, FIRE, in a crowded theater. So our show does deal a lot with information, but more important than dealing with information, it deals, it deals with uh, truth. And it's perfectly suited for that. Uh, every other uh, magician working got the idea that that was not an interesting subject, that you were supposed to say, well, just put your mind aside and pretend that I had real magical powers. Of course, these guys are also stating that if they did have real magical powers, what they would be doing would be being a greasy guy in a tux with a lot of birds torturing a woman in front of a mylar curtain to bad rip-off white boy Motown music. You know, that's what they would do if they had real magical powers. But what is interesting is to let people know how many ways they can be lied to. And to let people know that if two guys with as limited a talent as we have can make them think they're seeing miracles, then imagine what someone with a real agenda can do.